Hello and welcome to our first scripting tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be covering properties in Roblox Studio. So, well, to start you, ne you need Roblox Studio. Um, it should be somewhere in your computer, so if you just open Roblox Studio. I'm just going to wait for it to load. Oh no, I need to update. Okay, uh, once you've got Roblox Studio open, uh, if we just go to a uh, new place, so just click this button up here to so start a new place, and we can begin scripting. Well, we're not quite scripting yet. Um, so I'm going to show you what properties are first. So to find a property of a part, we're going to need a part first. So if we just go to insert basic object, and this is how to get a part. Um, so once you're in insert basic object, you just click on part. We'll double click it and it should spawn a part here. And properties, to find the property of a part, it's this little section here called properties. Uh, if you don't already have it loaded up, you go to view and then properties down here. Okay, so yeah, all of these properties here can be changed through scripts. So the transparency of a brick, I can change it manually here or I can change it through a script. So I'm going to show you how to change it through a script now. So if you just click on the brick and then insert basic objects script. So we're now inserting a script into the actual part. So okay, to, to change the property of this part, we're going to get the part first. So we need to tell the script where the part is. So for this, in this instance, it's going to be game dot workspace dot part so we've got the workspace here and then we've gone down to part so to get this part here and to start changing its properties we need to go to the workspace then we need to go to the part and that's how we do it game dot workspace dot part and now we can start changing the different properties of the parts so if we want to change transparency just click uh, to type dot transparency and then so now we've got the transparency property of this part we can change it to any value we want so let's change it to 0 0.5 to make it half transparent and when we click play oh whoops it's not anchored okay when we click play it's changed the property transparency to 0 0.5 so you can see it's gone halfway transparent so let's click play again to show you. Okay, and we can change any any property we want really. So if we want to change reflectance, we can do that as well. We'll type in game dot workspace dot part dot reflectance equals zero point five again. So. Yeah, we've made the brick uh, slightly. Oh, wait, I spelt reflectance wrong. Okay. Now when we click play, it's gone 0 0.5 reflectance and 0 0.5 transparency because we've changed the properties in the script. Now, there's also another way of getting the part, which is using script.parent. Now, because this script is inside the part the this part is actually a parent to the script so we can just type in script dot parent to get the part instead of typing in game dot workspace so if we just delete this I can type in script dot parent dot transparency and that will do the same thing as game dot workspace dot part because this part is the parent of the script because the script is currently inside the part. If we were to put the script outside of the part, we couldn't use script.parent to get the part. We'd have to do game.workspace.part. But because the script is inside the part, we can just use script.parent. And remember capital a, uh, to put capital letter on P for parent and lowercase s for script and capital T for transparency. So we just click play. That will also work. So you can also change different properties like making a brick unanchored. So 
at the moment the brick is anchored so if I wanted to make it unanchored we do script.parent dot anchored and it's not a number value this is a different value it's called a boolean value which means it can only be true or false so if we change anchored to false that means that the brick will no longer be anchored and it will just drop out of the sky so if I click plate you see it just dropped and if I wanted it to be anchored again I'd just write true and yeah so that's how you change the properties in the next tutorial I'm going to be going over like more more properties that you can change like like lock and collide and I'm going to be showing you like different examples of you know, different properties